Why you should intermittent dry fast daily instead of intermittent water fast? And you may be thinking, well, why is he saying that? So first off, I'm gonna explain exactly as to why. So as we know it, when people get into intermittent fasting or anything that they're looking to get some benefits from, they wanna speed up the benefits that they're getting from it. And as we know, one of the main reasons why people will get in to the intermittent fasting journey is to get the most rapid weight loss benefits possible. Some people get into it for autophagy, some other people do it because it's proven to maximize lifespan and so forth. And what I have found from my own experimentation and from what I've also heard from other people even prior to me experimenting with intermittent dry fasting throughout this year, that in comparison to intermittent water fasting, when I get about say 16 hours into an intermittent dry fast, it feels that it is the equivalent to a two to three day water fast from what I found from my own personal experimentation from multiple day fasting and intermittent dry fasting and intermittent water fasting. So why would you not wanna do intermittent dry fasting if it's gonna speed up the benefits? Well, there's no reason why you wouldn't wanna do it whatsoever, except for if you're someone that doesn't have any education or experience or knowledge on this subject, it can scare a lot of people off because if you don't know what dry fasting is, there is two different types of dry fasting. I'll first explain one of them, which is a soft dry fast. So soft dry fast, you abstain from all food and liquid consumption. But a hard dry fast, which is definitely more intense and puts you into a deeper fasted state way quicker than a soft dry fast, is you also come into contact with no water. So no putting any water on your skin externally, no brushing your teeth with water, or coming into contact with any water in any way, shape, or form. But yeah, when I do 16 hours of intermittent water fasting, it doesn't feel that I'm that deep into the fast. But yeah, when I get about 16 hours into an intermittent water fast, it doesn't feel that I'm in a deep fasted state whatsoever. So that is a sign to me that the intermittent dry fasting is way, way superior. So if you want to burn fat way, way, way more rapidly and get any other benefits that you are trying to get from intermittent water fasting, you definitely want to start experimenting with intermittent dry fasting instead. And I personally once did a 24 hour dry fast and I lost over 10 pounds of weight, which just amazed me. I knew I was gonna lose a lot of weight on it, but I didn't know it'd be that much. If you haven't seen that video, I put a link for it up above and you can check that out now. And obviously, yeah, a lot of the weight lost was a water weight, but as you may have heard from Thomas Dillauer, which is a very big YouTuber that talks about intermittent fasting and has loads of experience with it. He's one of the most knowledgeable people on it. He made a video before talking about intermittent dry fasting and just dry fasting as a whole and how it speeds up weight loss benefits three times faster than if you are fasting with water. And also, I just find from my own personal experience, I get some other amazing benefits. I find that I have more energy throughout the fasted state I find that my mental clarity is way, way better and my cognitive functions overall. And just as a whole, mentally and physically, I just feel way, way better. And there has been times where I've been doing a lot of intermittent dry fasting. Then I'm like, oh man, I should start drinking some water for this reason or another reason. And you know what's happened the majority of time when I've done that? Boom, my energy levels go down and I just start to not function at my best whatsoever. So it just makes sense to me why I would do intermittent dry fasting. And if you're someone that's new to this, then you can just start experimenting with shorter dry fasts. So say you do one meal a day and fast around 23 hours a day with liquid sources included during that fasting duration. You could experiment with say 16 hours or 23 hours doing an intermittent dry fast, so that's safe for anyone to do. And then as you get used to it mentally and physically, then you can start increasing the duration where you get to a point that with your intermittent fasting window, you're just dry fasting the whole time. And you don't necessarily need to do a high dry fast, you could do a soft dry fast experiment, see which works better for you, and that is in alignment 
with you and just works the best for you as well. It's all about listening to your body and if you start doing intermittent dry fasting and you're just not feeling that good from it, it may just be first off that you're new to it and just not used to it whatsoever. But it also may be that say you get into the intermittent dry fast and you're pushing yourself too far and just doing it too fast, then it may just be that your body's not adjusted to it and you just need to ease yourself into it way, way more slowly. So don't worry about it. If you start feeling not the best while doing it, you gotta remember also that it is gonna speed up the detoxification effects as well. So at first you may start getting some strong headaches or not feeling that it's good, but that's not necessarily a bad thing and it's not necessarily the dry fasting effects you in a negative way. It's actually doing a good thing. And once you start doing it more consistently, your body will get rid of the toxins that is moving very, very rapidly. And then you get to a point where you start to feel the best from intermittent dry fasting and get none of those detoxification effects. And one last thing I wanna mention is when I'm intermittent water fasting, I never feel what a lot of people say hunger, where your stomach or digestive system area, you could even say, starts churning and can growl and make some noises that, yeah, with dry fasting, it seems to kick in quite early, around the 12 hour mark with intermittent dry fasting, but with the intermittent war fasting, I never get that whatsoever. And it's actually good that that is happening because if you didn't know when that's going on, there is something really good happening within the body. Your body is releasing a peptide within the digestive system that is known as ghrelin. And then what is happening is producing BDNF, brain derivative neurotrophic factor, which then gets your brain to start producing neurons which is one of the best things for giving you the healthiest mind possible. And so your mental health and your cognitive functions do not decline when you get older. And it gives you neuroprotective benefits against Alzheimer's and dementia, which happens to a lot of people later in life. So yeah, we're coming to the end of the video now. So if I had to compare intermittent war or fasting, which that's what I have most experience with, also have a lot with intermittent dry fasting, that intermittent dry fasting is superior in every single way. Because if I wanted to feel the type of effects that are induced within me, say like 12 hours into an intermittent dry fast, for me to get that with an intermittent water fast, I'd need to go for about 24 hours or even like 36 hours. So that is a massive, massive difference. So that's it from me on this video. If you'd like me to make any videos about my own personal experience, with intermittent dry fasting or even longer dry fast. Or if you'd like me to make certain specific videos on dry fasting, let me know because there is so many videos I can make on this subject. And even if you don't ask for them, I'm gonna be making a lot on them very, very soon because it's something that I wanna talk about a lot more. I haven't talked about it much on this channel. So if you've got any questions, leave them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. Please share this video with anyone else that you think wants to hear about why they should intermittent dry fast and not intermittent water fast for the very good reasons that I explained in this video very thoroughly. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on intermittent dry fasting, intermittent water fasting, weight loss, calisthenics, workout, and progression videos, what I eat and do in the day videos, and many other videos to inspire you and motivate you and teach you the information to go in the direction to gain and maintain the body that you desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. Like I've managed to and many other people that have followed my information consistently over time. So if it sounds good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go get those gains. Peace.